Greetings, friends. Purple Heart Guy here. So, I'm here with my favorite class, Riot Guard. I'm going to be explaining some of the abilities, some of the things that are special about it. And let's just right, get right into it. Now, your base module is unyielding. What it does is every time you get shot or kill something, you get movement speed and you get health regen. Up to 25 stacks. If you hit level 20, you can go up to 50 stacks, essentially doubling that health regen and movement speed. You, you get up to, I believe it's... 25 and 150 at 25 stacks and 50 and 300 at, at uh, 50 stacks, which is just insane. Like, that's a lot of move speed. Now, you also start with another really good thing, the Viking Riot Shield. It's insane. It's got pretty garbage ammo gain. The damage is okay at best, but it has a few special things about it. First of all, it lowers your movement speed. Not the worst thing, considering you get a bunch of movement speed from your passive on yield in. It gives bonus armor when held and when in backpack, which is really good for damage reduction. I believe it's 30% if you have it equipped and 10% when it's in your back, which is still really good. That's a lot of damage reduction. And here's the kicker. Every time you dash into an enemy with the riot shield out, bam, they're taking damage. They take a lot of damage and it stuns them briefly. You can basically stun lock any enemy in the game. Okay, now moving on to your core class item. We've got the battle cry module. What it does is it just, it's an AoE stun that deals minimal damage. It can kill enemies. It deals an okay amount of damage, but it really varies on your health. It's not the best item, not gonna lie. You can just use it in combination with the right shield to dash in. You stun a few enemies with the dash, and then you battle cry, and they're stunned for a little bit longer, and then you get another dash. It's not a useful item on its own. I wouldn't consider it a carry item at all, but it is very useful in certain scenarios. Such as if you have like 40 enemies on the teleporter and you don't feel like killing them. You dash in, stun them, and then you take the teleporter out. That's it. I, I've, I've done it before. I've done it a lot of times before. It's just fun to do. But generally, it's not that great of an item. Now, moving on to the second part of your baseline perk. The first part is the Viking Riot Shield. The second part is a thing called Painkillers. Now, what Painkillers does is it gives you between 1 and 10 health permanently every time you take health damage, depending on your weapon heat. Now, if your weapon heat is super high, you'll get 10. If it's low, you'll get 1. Kind of just makes sense, right? And once you have 100 stacks of that, it just starts to heal you instead of giving you max health. So it's pretty much a heal when you take health damage. And you're going to want to be taking health damage as Riot Guard because you have all this damage reduction. You're probably running Wicked and the RV Rebuke system, the two best perks or the two best item and module combos in the game. Because if you're not getting shot at in Synthetic, you're playing the game wrong in my eyes. Because I love to be shot at. I love getting shot at in this game. I, some call me mad. I say you're probably right. Now your level 15 class talent is another notable one. Every active reload, which is when you hit the... I suppose it's a blue bar on right guard. When you're reloading, you hit that blue bar. Say you, you hit space when, you know, perfect reload timing, active reload. You have a heat dependent chance. A high, higher heat, higher the chance to grant a random power up. That could be damage, ammo, regen, anything. And this only gets better at level 25. You have a 20% chance for this to be doubled. So say you roll an ammo regen on that active reload, you'll get a second ammo regen with a 20% chance. Now that's so good. It's like insanely good. Another notable one is that your self-afflicting stun and slow effects last half as long. So you can run in, stun grenade yourself on accident, or run into the sniper landmines and it lasts like no time at all. You're, you're pretty much just immune to stuns. You're not going to feel stuns anymore, like on other classes. If you play Riot Guard for like a week straight and then switch to other classes, it's just awful. It just feels awful because you're going to get stunned for way longer by everything. And the last thing worth mentioning is your Prestige talent and your Level 20 talent both increase Riot Shield damage. Like, it's really good. So if you weren't sold on the Riot Shield as, as a usable gun with the dash, now you should be because there's two separate perks in the game that increase the damage of it. Like, that's nuts. That's so good. Well, if you couldn't tell by my voice in this video, I'm excited to talk about Riot Guard. I love doing it. I just thought that a lot of people should be playing this class, and the easiest way to play a class is to learn how to play it. So, you know, I hope this helps. I hope this gives you an idea of what you're going to run into when you're playing Riot Guard. And I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell notification if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!